Hi everybody, it's Amy Lane, the Literate Yogi, and um, welcome to A Lesson to Learn, session one. I would imagine that there are going to be lots and lots of these, because <laughs> I'm constantly learning. Anyway, um, so this series um, in my YouTube channel is really about my journey of learning things. And not just learning, but really authentically reflecting on the things that happened to me and, um, you know, sort of like this, this education um, on life and my, in, my spirituality, my awakening, my enlightenment. So just so that you know, I am, I am a student. I am a student of life. I am not, you know, a guru. I'm not an expert. Um, I am just a human, you know, moving through this, this life and, and learning things. And um, I'm humbled enough to um, know that there's always room for growth. There, there just is. I mean, we, we're all making mistakes. We're all bumping into walls, you know. Um, you know, it, it, that's just, that's just what, what, what this journey is. And um, I just want to be real enough in my videos to to let you in on my my life and you know just some of the things that that I run into. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about something that happened to me this past weekend. So first of all, um, I'm not a Buddha. I'm not like Catholic or you know like I I I just sort of. Um, practice this um i don't even know what, what i i just i just practice on living um a, a, a compassionate kind life as best i i can i try to live under um the yogic um, principles that's why i'm i call myself the literate yogi um, but you know it's a process and i don't always get it right and so um that's why I, I'm constantly like going back and, and reflecting and um, seeing how I can correct my course as, I, as I'm going through, through this experience. So, um, like I said, I don't always get it right. I try, but I don't always get it right. And so um, the other day, which was Saturday, I went to the supermarket. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you how this whole thing like un unfolded. So it was interesting because lately I, I feel like this kind of like this negative energy um, in the world. Um, it's just, it, it, I, I could go on and on and on about it and maybe I will in another, in another video, but honestly, I feel like um, there's just like this negative energy that is running through humanity okay and it's been going on since covid and it continues today and i feel like the energy is is even more amped up so when i go out it's it's difficult for me to like go out in public be, because i don't want to really interact with people because i just feel like i'm feeling like this weird energy that's happening it's a negative energy so um you know, but you got to live your life, right? So I went out, I went to the market and it was Saturday and it was late in the afternoon and it was pretty quiet in the, in the market, which is kind of like strange, but anyway, um, so I finished my, all what I need to get and I go to the, um, aisle, um, the checkout aisle, checkout lane. And there was somebody in front of me and I was behind her and she finished. And so I went up ahead and there was nobody behind me this time there's nobody there was nobody behind me so I started unloading like a couple of things I probably unloaded maybe like I don't know maybe like 10 items onto the belt and I realized that I was missing a quart of milk so I said to the clerk um, oh I forgot I thought I had gotten two milks and I had only gotten one do you mind if I go back and get another milk he says no go ahead so I said fine so of course you know the milk is like all the way on the other end of the store of course right so I hustle, you know, and I get there and then I come back. And as I'm walking back to the checkout aisle, I see a woman 
and her husband standing behind my carriage. And I'm pretty far away, but I can see, I can see what's happening here. And she's standing at the carriage, at my carriage, and she's pointing to my carriage and she's doing this, you know, and she's pissed. Okay. I can just see it. I can just see it. So I'm quite a bit of, of distance and I see this happening and I, I, I say, okay, well, what am I going to do here? How am I going to handle this? How am I going to handle this? And I felt like, um, which I usually don't do this. I, I, I felt like, uh, like I, I actually wasn't even sure how I was going to react, but, but I felt like, I felt like I didn't really want her to intimidate me. Okay. I felt, I felt like the walls come up. I felt my heart close and you know, the shield comes up, right? I'm ready for a fucking fight and I don't do this, which is odd. So I walk up to her and as I'm walking up to her, she is looking at me. She's staring at me. She's pissed. She's just like seething, okay, in anger at me, not blinking. And we are eye to eye looking at each other. And I got up to her and I got up to her about two feet away from her face. And I went, what? Like, let's, like, let's fucking do this. Let's do this. And so, um, so she says to me, she goes off on me and she's like pointing to my carriage and telling me that, you know, what's wrong with me for leaving my carriage there and blah, 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 blah. And she's just going off on me and I'm listening and I d just decided to kind of like dial it back a little bit. And I was very calm and I said to her, well, I said, um, you could have chosen to go to a different checkout you know, there's others open. And she said to me that she wasn't going into another lane. And she, well, she said, I'm not going into another lane, bitch, like that. And now everybody's like watching, <laughs> right? And so I said, well, I said, the gentleman said it, that it was okay for me to go and get my item. And she said, well, you know, what else is he supposed to say? He works here. And I'm like, okay, well, the guy's giving me like custo good customer service. So like, okay. And so then I said to her, I repeated, I repeated what I said before. I said, well, I said, you could have gone into another aisle, but instead you're standing here talking to me and like yelling at me about this. And so I scooted by her and I got um, in front of my cart and she's still going at it. She's yelling at me. She's, you know, she's really like making, making a huge scene. And so I stopped and I said to her, I said, oh, I said, now I'm gonna have to go really slow. And so I went really slow. Okay, unloading my groceries onto the belt. I literally went one item at a time, one item at a time. And I was adjusting them on the belt, doing, you know, doing the little of this. I was just, me I was messing with her. I was totally, totally messing with her. And she is like, gonna lose it. So I just keep going. And, and the entire time I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm like, I'm totally tense in my core. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't even know what's, <laughs> what's gonna happen here. I mean, like, Nowadays, you just don't even know like what's going to happen. But I did know that, you know, there were people around me, people were watching. Um, the clerk was, was also going really slow. So he was clearly, you know, I don't know if he was trying to send, I don't want to in, in, infer that he was also trying to send a message to her because I, I don't know what, what his, what his thinking was, but so then anyway, so I'm unloading the cart and I'm going nice and slow. And then she takes her cart and she bangs it into my cart. She bumps me. Okay. And I looked at her again and I said, oh, now I'm going to have to go even slower. And so then I started going even slower. I did not have a bagger at the end of the belt 
So, oh, I had to bag for myself now. So I went down and I bagged for myself and I went really slow and I paid, you know, and um, I walked out and I went to my car and I felt really like, like I was like on this high. I was like, I felt empowered. I felt like, yeah, yeah, you know, I showed her, you know. And I went home and I told my family about it, right? And I was just like, rah, 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 right? But as the evening went on, I wasn't really feeling great about it. As the evening went on, I felt like, I felt like this, this stone in my stomach that was just getting bigger and bigger. And um, I laid in bed thinking about it and I was sort of like you know well well you know what is this feeling what am I feeling here like I'm, I'm reflecting here so I'm like what am I feeling here I'm feeling like feeling like she's you know like she was really angry and I mirrored that anger and uh, it just didn't feel right right it just didn't feel right and so the next day I was continued to think about it and and I, I began to think about my behavior towards her and I started to think about how I could have done things differently how what I how I could have approached this with a more compassionate kind forgiving heart instead of you know and, and still and and still empowering myself because I may you whatever whatever I decide to do is my choice to do so if I choose to empower myself by getting in her face like that, or I choose to empower her, or I choose to empower, excuse me, myself by opening my heart, it's still empowerment, okay? But I, I, chose, I chose the wrong way. I chose the wrong way. So I started to think of different things that I could have done. And one of the things that I thought of was, I mean, I only had a few items on the belt. I could have just taken my things off of the belt and pulled out my cart and said, you know what, why don't you go ahead of me? And then she probably wouldn't have known what to do because she was so in her own negativity and in her own like that, that cycle, she wouldn't have known what, what to do. And then maybe by me showing her a little bit of compassion and a little bit of kindness that maybe would have changed things. But instead, she probably went home. I didn't teach her a lesson. I didn't teach her a lesson by getting in, get, getting in her face and like and like being an asshole by going really slow at, at, at the checkout line. I just fueled her her anger. I fueled her her pain. I fueled her fire. And that's not what what I should have done. So my lesson in this is, you know, to really go back and really decide how I want to empower myself and, 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 and empower this, this other person that is in front of me. And it's not through anger and it's not through negativity. Um, I could have showed her a way. I could have I could have been I could have been a teacher to her. And instead, I just was like I was an asshole, honestly. So, that's my lesson. Don't be an asshole. No. My my lesson is really about, you know, choosing your form of empowerment and making sure that it really does it it comes from it comes from the heart. It comes from the heart. So that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do is all, is all good to me. Okay. Um, and I thank you so much for watching.